In its share of great moments through the years, a look at the Oakland Coliseum. Today, Game 3 of this four-game series between the Kansas City Royals and the Oakland A's. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Paul Irvin gets the ball for Oakland in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw Leaving some decent games in there. It's the not easy stop. having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Adalberto Mondesi is at the plate as he looks at ball one. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four out of the first five, that sets up a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that Roll going. A chance now for a look at the Royals starting lineup. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matty, I know this team can swing the bat. But one thing I'm focused on, and I think a huge key for this team, is base running. And I'm not necessarily saying stolen bases. Just being aggressive on the base pass. Putting the defense on their heels. Taking the extra base. Maybe that send from first to home. That's what I'm hoping to see. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Down and away, ball one. Our temperature should get us up into the 70s as we move along, 68 at first pitch. Just got the corner that time with a fastball, strike two. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. 1-2 is an off-speed pitch. No dice. It's 2-2. Two and two. Full count. 3-2. and two. Whit Merrifield waits on deck. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number 2. With Merrifield next to bat, comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First offering on its way. Hard hit ball to second, but the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. The throw into second, but he'll be in there with a double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. In is Jorge Soler as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, d -Roll, you touched on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two-out double right now, he's going to have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. Merrifield at second with two down. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. So they can't make anything out of the two-out double. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Danny Duffy gets the ball for the Royals in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this one here today. Ready now is yeah, Tyler Ramirez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Tyler. half of the first. Ramirez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball. These Kansas City Royals entering play this afternoon, guys. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, guys, huge win in their last game. Kind of stopped a bleeding moment for this team. Let's see if they can continue that stretch today because they've been struggling recently. 2-0 the count Ball. to the A's left fielder. The 2-0. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 2-1 home is a slider taken for a ball. Elvis Andrews waits on deck. in the air into shallow left center. Waiting on it is Benintendi. And that's the first down of the inning. Batting second. With that, let's look at the starting lineup for the hometown A's. Danny, who stands out to you? Yeah, keep an eye on Elvis Andrus. He's on a nice stretch. That's three home runs in his last 10 games. He's swinging the bat really well right now. And by watching his mannerisms in the box, he just looks comfortable in the plate. He's in some kind of a groove. Here's Elvis Andrus now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A 1 0 delivery. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. You know, D-Row, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and say, is that as far as you're going today? And Woody will usually give you an answer. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. Again, a one-two. Pops this one up. Santana has room in foul territory. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting third. The right fielder, Brandon Jordan. Next to stand in is Brandon Jordan. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Duffy sets. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 2 1. Oh. Vimael Machine would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good pitch, and it's full now. Three and two. 
Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Next to hit, Vimael Mashin. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. First pitch of the A-B now. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. A runner on first with two away. Strike two. Two takes, and now he's down 0 and 2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give a guy at first a chance to run. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. One left for Oakland. Still no score. Now to the plate, here is Hanser Alberto. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. First delivery to him. And that catches the outside edge, one and one. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. On deck, Carlos Santana. He likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. That is it. The first base. Here's Carlos Santana now. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Now here's the first offering. And he takes strike two. Alberto on at first, nobody out. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair and it remains 0-2. I'll tell you right now, he let go of that one, and he wanted to pull it back. That was a hanger, bad spot over the heart of the plate. He's lucky. He's lucky that's getting sent back to him. To one and two now. Has a look. Now the pitch. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Here now the 2-2. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Andrus. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Well, when you get a ground ball in a double play situation, you always want to turn it. But that was a tough hit to do it on. You don't want to rush and make a mistake and get no out. So that was a good job to at least get the runner going into second. From the belt, kicks and deals. Salvador Perez stands in as he looks at a called strike. A good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch that batters love to take a rip at, but that one froze it. Comes set with the 0-1. No. 
pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. No score here as we play inning number two. He spoils another one and will do it again. Working for the punch out and the offering. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So nothing happening this time around. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing nothing. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Matt Chapman. First offering on its way. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. And a pitch in the oh. dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. To two balls and two strikes now. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Four, three Full count now. Three and two. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And I'm sure the manager is just Batting fine six. with that. I mean, it's the better to battle base. a slugger like that to yeah. the end and end up walking him than oh, serving sure. one up where he can really hurt you. Striding in is Matt Olson, and you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. First pitch on the way, and a slider tails outside for ball one. A runner at first with no outs here. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, no. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. That's bounced foul. It's two and two. Ho 
open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it. One gone. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Mark Canna comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. He'll come into this one with an average way down at 235. Six home runs and an even 20 RBIs. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Career numbers against Danny Duffy. A number of meetings. He's one for seven. Now the 2-1. High in the air out to center field. Taylor is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting eight. The designated hitter. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Chapman, the runner at first with two gone. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. In the dirt here. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And costly as the runner will move into scoring position now. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up three bases. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden, the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Sean Murphy is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Comes set, the 0-1. Ball. And there's ball one. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2-1 pitch. He's fallen behind now. 3-1. Three 3-1 and one. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. The 3-1 and one pitch. Oh, that ball's driven into left center. This could be trouble. And this is going to find the alley as it heads out toward Mount Davis for extra bases. And not in time as the second run scores. This thing was a double or more the second it left his bat. He really drove it well, and it ended up one-hopping the wall out there. And more importantly, he picks up two RBI along the way. Standing in now, Tyler Ramirez. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Taylor able to track it down for the third out. 
I'll give the enthusiasm a 10, the dancing a uh, 4. No shame, and you got to love it. More of the show, Saturday Baseball, after this. And that brings in Hunter Dozier, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The wind up and the 0-1. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Hunter Dozier goes down for the first the out here in inning number three. Michael A. Taylor. So now to the plate, Michael Taylor. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He'll enter play here at an even 250. Two home runs and six RBIs. Here comes the 0-1. Go! No. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Woo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Here's another one-two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high now fastball, having, a high piece of cheese, Apple swung at and missed. That pitch looks so see. inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Stepping in now, Adalberto Mondesi. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. fouled away he's one pitch away from striking out the side but even more than that to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout hit in the air down the right field line well, this one lands in the bullpen area a foul ball Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. KC down in order. They trail things here two to nothing.
back at the Oakland Coliseum. And before we go much further, let's check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the shortstop, yeah, Elvis it. Andrews. That's shortstop, Elvis. Andrew. Here it comes now to Andrus. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Hit the other way out toward right field. So there on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting, right fielder, Brandon Jordan. Stepping in once again is Brandon Jordan. Worked a walk his first time up. The pitch. And that's oh. high for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Oh. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. 2 and 0 oh now. One out, nobody on. Two and one after the foul ball there. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Two, two. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Full count, three and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Solaire's after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now back. Second baseman, Vimael Machin. Now into the box, Vimael Machin struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Behind 0-2 now. Try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. And that's going to be high. 2-2 two and two now. Two out, nobody on. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the A's two, and the Royals nothing. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And now the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Oh, and two, the count to Benintendi. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. Time now for the A's the road to the two. show report as we Second get a look eight. at a couple of guys making Wait. some noise in the upper Wait. levels of the minors. Whit 
field next to hit. As he'll run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. I ain't mad at you right there. I understand. He's trying to get the offense going right there. Wasn't able to execute, but nice thought process. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Merrifield behind a ball and two strikes. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Here comes the 1 2. Line hard into left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The right field is number 12. Jorge Soler. Two down, no one on base. And that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. A ball and a strike. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the one two is taken oh. for ball two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Here now the two two is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. They trail it here two to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Ready to go. And that'll Good give game. way to the third baseman, third Matt baseman. Chapman. Matt Chapman. First offering on its way. Ball. And that misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now batting. First baseman, Matt Olsen. So one out and nobody aboard. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olsen. Here's the pitch. Drive. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Solaire is there. Two gone. Now batting. So with the Center fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And folks, that is not a misprint. He's been clocked at over 100 miles an hour so far. My goodness. Two away now in the Oakland fourth. And striding into bat next, it'll be Mark Canna. First pitch coming, here it is. Here comes the 0-1. 
Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Ready on 0 and 2. Two runs on just one hit and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed and with that the side is retired. One two three go the A's. They're up two to nothing. Welcome back Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, Royals manager Mike Matheny talked with me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production, and overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off for Kansas City. New inning set to get underway. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Hanser Alberto. Here's the first pitch to him. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. I can't imagine in a hitter's meeting today, that's the pitch they want to attack. Plus velocity up and in. It's going to be too tough to get the barrel to that pitch today. Wind up and the 0 1. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. No. Popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now another 2 2. Drilled to first. Scooped up. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see right there that these guys rank second in the AL in that category. Now one down with the bases empty. And that'll bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. In Whoa. under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. One, two's the count. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. the catcher Salvador Perez as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game now here's the pitch man he's in control of all his weapons right here one strike away from five shutout innings He's 
got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. KC down in order. They're down two to nothing. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. Athletic, the designated hitter, Steven Piscotti. First pitch on its way. Yep. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Hit back up the middle. And a good throw gets him one gone. Up next to open. The catcher. Sean Murphy. So one down, no one aboard. And that'll bring up Sean Murphy. And now the first pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One out, nobody on. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. He's set. Here's the 2-2. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Great spot on that 2-2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you could do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. In now, Tyler Ramirez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. No hits to this point. Duffy sets, 0-1 pitch on its way. High in the air down the right field line. Soler is there, and he makes the play to end the inning. A's are gone in order, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Hunter Dozier digging in now. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Ball and a strike. One more. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Two and two to Hunter Dozier. Count remains two and two. And 
and it's fouled away. Looped out toward third, and this will be no problem over at third, and there's the first down. The center fielder, number two, Michael A. Taylor. Digging in will be Michael Taylor. First pitch on its way. Yep. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the okay. batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Royals. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 and two now. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. The 1-2. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. The 2-2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before now he's that, done. Still a lot shot. of game left in this Adalberto one. Mondesi. At the plate now, Adalberto Mondesi. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. Leading it's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Stop. Elvis. And group. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss. 0-1. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. This is flared out towards second, and this will be put away easily for the out. So with now one gun in the inning, right time field. for a check of the American Brandon. League Central standings sure as you did. see where the Royals sit entering play today. Now to bat, Brandon Jordan flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. the 1-1. One, one. Ball. 2-1. He's fallen Ball. behind now. 3-1. and one. And obviously this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. 
You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. Count full, three balls and two strikes. The 3-2 pitch. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now batting, second baseman. At the plate now is Vimael Mashi. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Set and the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Jordan stands at first with one out. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Yeah, now after the stolen base, it looks as though the dugout wants to go ahead and put him on here to keep that double play in order with one away. That's what's called yeah, that getting the treatment. The Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat, so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. No. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The 1 0 is a fastball down below the knees. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. If he concedes the walk here, he's in real trouble of giving up a big inning. It's not all that bad yet, but dealing with the bases loaded will make it pretty tough to wiggle out of. He's set. Here's the 3-0. And he misses again. Ball four. And his control is really letting him down now. It was obvious when the count ran the 2-0 that now they back. were not going First to give this guy anything to hit. Yeah. Sometimes you have to pick your oh, battles, sir. and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. And now in the box, Matt Olson. Yeah, we thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Yeah, I'm not sure, Matty, but I think this lefty-lefty matchup right here may have been enough to convince the manager to stay with him. So we'll see if it works out. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Into the corner and slicing foul. to send him packing for the second time. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. All right, no more hope, and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. the second and he has delivered one of the biggest at bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit and not in time as the run scores you love the aggressive base running right there it's not easy to now make that, that throw and give that catcher feet. time to Mark. adjust his feet and get that tag no, very aggressive send right there you take a chance you hope the throw is a little bit offline and that paid off right there now here comes the royal skipper up the stairs on his way to the mound and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. Gone after five and a third here as he never really found his groove in this one. Jake Kalish will come on now to now make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Number 81, Jake Kalish.
So now it's Mark Canna. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Taylor. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Now that was a tough the play, so let's hitter. take another look at it he with Show Track. Seemed to get a hey, solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. Into the box now, Stephen Piscotti, and he fouls this one off. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Runners on first and third, two away. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Again, another foul ball. Another 0-2. Lined into right, a base hit. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. Hey, guys, he doubled up right there. Back-to-back -back sliders. Back. Nice job it. by the batter right Go there. On. Just misses the first one, makes Nothing. the adjustment, stays a little shorter, and drives the next pitch for a base hit. In at the plate is Sean Murphy. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 1-0. Behind 0-2 now. Rounded back up the middle. Merrifield picks it up. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors, and two left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the A's five, and the Royals nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. Now here's the first offering. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. The one, two. Gets him looking, strike three. 
Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of the games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this no. pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. To the plate now, Whit Merrifield. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1-0. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. On to first, and there were two down. The right field, number 12, Jorge Soler. So next to hit is Jorge Soler. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. 1-0 and oh the count. Pitch number 100 on its way. Good bite to that thing, and it's one and one. A ball and two strikes. Boy, well, he's been great in this one, and he's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Two and two to Jorge Soler. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. KC down in order. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. to the top of the lineup stepping in Tyler Ramirez it was a fly out for him in his last trip first delivery to him Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. Hit to third. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. And there's a changeup down in the zone. Oh, not a bad pitch, but with two strikes, not the kind of pitch you're looking for. 0-1 or 0-2. Sometimes you got to scramble those, Danny. It's a testament to all the work he's been putting in underneath in the tunnel, staying through the baseball. Throw over to the bag. A dive, but he's back. Another look to first, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Standing in now, Elvis Andrews. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Now a move over to first, and he's back easily. Ramirez gets his lead at first, nobody out. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside, the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag, so let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. 
the 2-0. Is laid off, but in there for strike one. And that misses up and in three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Line but speared on a hop. And there's one down now. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. First pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Soler is there, and he'll bring this one in. Now batting. The second baseman, Vimael Machin. Stepping in next, Vimael Machin, runner in scoring position with Sugan. From the stretch, drill down the line. Oh, what a stop! He gathers the throw. What an outstanding play to end the inning. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Nah, they just haven't had much of an answer, Matty. They've been off balance and baffled all game. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound the strike zone. But here... Get aggressive. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Now this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Now the 1-0. -oh. Pops this one up. In there, a base hit. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. So now Carlos Santana yep. as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And it's one and one. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. One one. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. He's set. Here's the two two. Oh. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. Now the three and two pitch. Fouled off. Here comes the payoff pitch. On 
down. He can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Well, these fans have been treated to a fine outing out of their hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right hand side of your screen. Next, here is Salvador Perez. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. First offering on its way. Ball. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Alberto, base runner at first with one out. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. The 1 1 home is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Now the 2-1, fouled away. Runners on first with one down. Ball. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's gonna get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Ready to deliver the full count ball pitch. Four. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, now but after that third walk, base. they've got runners at first and second and look Go ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Digging in now for Kansas City, Hunter Dozier. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0-1. Well, the Royals have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First and second now, one man out. That misses, one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. as he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. So now to the plate, Michael Taylor, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in these ABs. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced so far. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. So next to bat will be Adalberto Mondesi. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far.
Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Jordan is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Royals wind up leaving him loaded. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Josh DeMont is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 63, Josh DeMont. Now it'll be Matt Chapman. Leading off for the A's, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. First pitch on the way. Ball. Obviously the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. The 1-0. Now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Swing and a blooper down the right field line. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a now really good pitch, and yet this guy's game. so big and so Man. strong, he's able to muscle it oh, into fair. right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Ready with the 0-1. Oh. Action in that KC pen now as a right-hander's begun to loosen up. Now the one and one pitch is in off the plate. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Chapman aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't oh, make it any less the impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and Can blow not. smoke right by guys. Stepping in now, Mark Canna, as he'll look oh. at a fastball too high for ball one. It could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0 misses for the second ball. Runner at first here, one man out. On the ground to third. Dozier brings it in. There's Merrifield. Go to Santana. The double play, and that's how the side is retired. Nothing doing there for the A's, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Yasmera Petit comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Yusmero Petit. set to start the ninth in this one and with it brings the left-handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Benintendi 
He's set. Here it comes. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Waved at and missed and he's behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Here comes the one two and it's fouled away. Try again, one, two. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Popped him up. Olsen in foul ground. He's got it one away. And there are the final numbers for the Oakland starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Hey, what a great job of mixing speeds and mixing up his pitches. Two hits allowed in this one. Dominant performance. In now, Whit Merrifield, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0. Ball. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. He obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one, a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. So now into the box is Jorge Soler. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. In previous matchups with Yusmero Petit, he's gone two for five. He also has one home run. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Boy, and Woody Keller's just not giving him any help now. It's three and zero. Runner at second here with one man out. Three and one. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And he fouls this one off. Now the three and two pitch. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now that so now to the play, Hanser Alberto. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch coming. Here it is. No ball. What's right? Ready with the nothing in one pitch.
Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Now a line drive here is caught. And if that's not symptomatic of the way this one's gone, the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. 5-0 the final score today. The Athletics took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Cole Irvin earns win number seven on the season, allowing only a pair of hits in eight full innings pitched. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.